hey guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to talk about how do you go about creating custom connectors for the graph api so this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how you go about creating the custom connector so without further ado let's get started all right so here i am on the power app screen and i have clicked on custom connectors already i'll go ahead and click on this new custom connector i'll create one from the blank i'll quickly name it something so graph sample click on continue you can change the icon color background color give the description but i'm not going to do that um so we need a host so our host is going to be graph.microsoft.com right so where it is okay so graph.microsoft.com we'll quickly move ahead in the authentication section you need to select or 2.0 okay we have the identity provider and the identity provider will be selecting azure active directory now we'll need a client id and client secret so for that i have already created an app registration for it and here it is i have copied the client secret from here and if i can go back i will find the client id as well power apps for custom connector i can go back okay let's go to app registration directly and search for power apps for custom connector there you go that's 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 the app i'll copy the client id paste it here authorization url would remain the same tenant id would be same resource url would be again graph.microsoft.com so if i can quickly find it there you go dot me so this is the endpoint oh, okay wait this is, this is the resource url that we're going to use all right and scope so the scope has to be it could either be the permission that you put in okay so if you're reading email so it would be mail.read if you're reading user information it would be user.read but in my case um, i'm just going to use default scope so it's it will have all the permission whichever is there inside the app registration all right now i'll go and click on definition here so we need to create a new action to put on the api that we're going to using so just naming it get user for now because we're going to get users information the operation id has to be unique from the other actions that you will create so for now i'm just going to use one action so i'm just keeping it get users get request so i'm going to just gonna import the sample this is get request i'm going to use this endpoint graph.microsoft.com not here it should be here slash me after the version number of course is it version 1.0 and me okay so we have done it i think we'll need the me endpoint to run in order to get the response body here so i'll just quickly copy this and yeah so we are done with the request in the response i'll click on add default response and in the body i'm gonna paste the default body that we got so you'll need to do similar thing for all the API endpoints uh, that you're gonna create new action for. So if I want to have an API endpoint, a custom connector for email, I'll just click on new action and uh, use the email endpoint here and then it's body as well. Okay, so I'll click on next. I do not need manifest, so I'll click on code. I do not need to change anything here, so click on test. So it says you should create custom connector before testing. So I'm just going to click on create custom connector. And it is trying to save the custom connector. There we'll have it in a few minutes. All right, we are here. So now I think we do have our custom connector ready. I'll click on new connection to test it. Yeah, so this is the graph sample that we just created. I'll click on create. It will show me a prompt. Yeah. I'll click on it and it will it is asking me a sign up prompt and um, telling me what permission this gonna this app gonna use. So in my case, I'm just using user.read permission, which is the default permission in the app registration, and that is the reason why I'm getting this prompt. I'll click on consent and click on accept. No address reply register for the application. Okay, I get it. This is because we have not set the redirect URL uh, in the graph API. Graph API sample. 
and click on security there you have it the redirect url just copy this redirect url and click on add redirect url on your new app registration so if you need help creating the app registration you can watch the other videos on this channel i click on platform i click on web and i'll paste it here click on configure and now i think it is configured i'll click on update connector that's it that's the only thing needed so we just needed to add a redirect url on our app registration so that is there already now so i'm gonna go ahead and test this app now again click on definition uh we are good here click on yeah plug in we don't need to do any changes to the code and the test part so i'll click on new connection again create gonna throw us the prompt again sign in there we have it um edit and i'll quickly go to the test part and click on test operation and there we have it 200 okay response and we have got the details and the response that's it for now guys thank you everyone have a nice day ahead bye bye adios